Hello everyone, you are on the Moby channel and I am glad to see you on my channel again. And while we are looking forward to the second part of the 67th episode of the original Skibbity Toilet series, I suggest you immerse yourself in the world of the multiverse of the Skibbity Toilet series from Dom Studio. In this video, I will analyze the 7th, 8th and 9th episode. And also today, October 28th, the 10th episode of Skibbity Toilet from Dom Studio will be released. And if you want to already tomorrow the analysis of this episode came out, then put a like and write about it in the comments. This analysis turned out to be very interesting, so be sure to watch the video to the end. And also don't forget to like it. Let's get 10,000 likes on this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get 400,000 subscribers by 2024. We're starting. Episode 7 begins with how we see the skibbity spider and literally a second later we realize that we see everything happening from the first person of the titan speaker man. He destroys the skibbity spider and flies on, his next target becomes the skibbity rocket launcher. Then the titan turns and we see the toxic skibbity skeleton and the titan speaker man shoots two powerful projectiles at him our guns. Then we understand that we were clearing the territory next to the headquarters of clockman's agents and we are met by dancing speaker man's agents. Then we see the hand of a titan and then we already see everything on behalf of the POV cameraman, he takes out a tablet and it says message sending. Apparently he sent a message to all agents that the headquarters of Clockman's agents had been cleared. Next, we pass through several doors and get into the room where the Clockman's agents, the TV man agent and the cameraman agent are located, also on the table we see one part of the Clockman agent who was torn into two parts by the Skibbity Magnet in Episode 5 of the Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Next, Agent Speaker Man appears from the portal, who carries the second part of Agent Clock Man in his arms and, as we remember, they were moved from the last six episodes here. Big Agent Speaker Man puts Agent Clock Man on the table and another Agent Clock Man tries to apply his healing abilities, which he already showed earlier in the second episode. But his strength is not enough and he can't do anything about it. But then the following happens. TV Woman moves the Clock Woman agent to this location. She thanks TV Woman and goes to the table where the divided Clock Man agent is lying. At the same time, we see a direct reference to the simp cameraman from the original Skibbity Toilet series from Daffodbo. Next, the camera turns and we see how Clock Woman uses her abilities to epic music and she manages to repair and even revive the Clock Man agent. Next, the big agent speaker man gives the hat to his friend agent Clock Man and from behind we see how Clock Woman explains to Agent Clock Man what his mistake was and why he himself could not repair and revive the agent. Next we see the friendly greeting of the agents and the Clock Man agent shows his signature gesture, showing that everything is okay. Next, the POV cameraman turns and we see how the main Clock Man agent shows the okay gesture, and the cameraman shows his like. But then a terrible thing happens because the POV cameraman receives a message on the tablet that the Clockman Titan has been defeated. We knew about these events back in the last sixth episode, but the fact is that these two episodes happen at the same time. Agent Clockman is horrified when he sees this message, about the same emotions we experienced in the 50th episode of the original series, when the Titan cameraman fought with the toxic skeleton of Skibbity. This is the end of the seventh episode of the multiverse Skibbity Toilet. And before I start analyzing the next episode, I will ask you to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done it yet, and if you have already subscribed, then don't forget to like it, because we continue. Episode 8 begins with the interrogation of Skibbity Toilet, similar to what we have already seen in the original series in 21 episodes. Then the camera turns and we see two speaker man agents, one of them is a dark elite speaker man, whom we first saw in episode 63 of the original series. We also see a recording device in the speaker man. Apparently he's recording the Skibbity Toilet conversation so that he can try to sort it out later. Next, the main Clockman agent bursts into the interrogation room and from his appearance we can see that he is very serious and tough. The agent throws a notebook to the toilet so that he writes to him everything they want from him. But the toilet only spits in the face of the Clockman agent and shows with all its appearance that it will not say anything to them. After that, Agent Clockman snaps his fingers and a large and strong stream of fire escapes from two turbines, which burns Skibbity Toilet alive, then Agent Clockman returns time back and revives the toilet. From what happened, Skibbity Toilet falls into shock and horror, because he has not encountered such agents before. Then the camera turns back to the Clockman agent and he looks like he says well, what now? Will you talk? But Skibbity Toilet insists on his own again and then Agent Clockman burns the toilet again and restores it again, 
and when Agent Clockman wants to pull this trick again, Skibbity Toilet agrees to tell the agents everything. He takes a pencil in his teeth and starts writing everything he knows. After that, the POV operator leaves the interrogation room and enters the analysis and analysis room. And by the way, when I do the analysis of episodes, I look about the same. In this room, I noticed a poster with a large skibbity magnet, which we first saw in episode 5 of the Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Also on the table I noticed a mini toilet and on the table there is either a new agent weapon that we will be able to see in the future, or it is a part that will become part of the agents in the future. Next, the POV operator leaves the room, turns around and we see how the dark elite agent speaker man and the main agent clock man also leave the room. In this frame, you can also see the familiar figures that we have already seen in the second episode of the multiverse. Next, the Clockman agent closes the door and activates the lever to destroy the Skibbity Toilet after all. Next, Clockman approaches another Clockman agent, who is sitting at the computer and looking for some information. On his desk, you can see a phone on the screen of which you can see a photo of some Skibbity Toilet. It is possible that the toilet identifier was loaded on this phone according to which agents are looking for their database and after a few seconds the inscription Skibbity Toilet Base's locations is targeted appears on the Clockman computer. Next, a big agent of TV Man appears in front of us and says a secret message, if you could make it out, then write it in the comments, it will be very interesting for me to read them. Also in this frame we can take a closer look at the small toilet that stands on the table and we can notice that this figure has a cat's head. I think this is also another reference to the original series from Defugbomb, because we saw the Skibbity Cat in episode 16. Next, we see how the screen of the big agent TV man connects to some kind of Skibbity toilet and we see everything happening on his behalf. And the first thing we see is how Skibbity Saw is trying to attack cameraman's agent, but since the control of the flying toilet is in the hands of agents, we do not let the enemy destroy our cameraman's agent. And further on in this frame we can see a reference to one of my colleagues in the analysis of episodes, specifically Elite Cameraman. Well, I hope that someday I will get into animation with some YouTuber animator on Skibbity Toilet. Next, the POV Toilet crashes into the Rocket Man's Skibbity with all its speed and destroys it. Then the camera turns and we see how the Titan Speaker Man with his loud roar forces the opponents to leave this territory. But at the same moment, a large, armored Skibbity Toilet firework arrives and launches two fireworks rockets directly at the Titan Speaker Man. But since Titan has received a small number of improvements, and specifically it has protection for the reactor, we saw the same in the original series Defugbum from Titan Cameraman in episode 57. The Titan Speaker Man takes off, loads his guns and destroys the big Skibbity rocket launcher of fireworks, but then when he lands, the Skibbity Parasite flies up to him from behind and as soon as he wanted to penetrate the Titan Speaker Man, the Titan activated his loud roar and thereby scared off the Skibbity Parasite and shot him with his powerful cannon. Then we see a very strange sight, because the earth begins to crack and apparently this is not a natural phenomenon, but someone is walking. Titan Speaker Man thought that these were enemies and had already loaded his guns, but Clockman agents warn him with all their might that it is unnecessary to shoot, because it turns out that these are their friends, Drillmen agents. The agents shake hands and one of them shows the legendary like to the other, and the third agent waves his hand saying something to his Titan, then the Titan Drill Man goes further. Next, a message arrives on the cameraman's agent's tablet, where it is reported that the next task is available to him. Type of task rescue. Next, we see how the Titan speaker man also received this message and went on a mission. The camera turns on the drillman agents and this is the end of the 8th episode of Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. I think now is the time to pour yourself some tea and make cookies again, because we are moving on to the analysis of episode 9 of the multiverse Skibbity Toilet. Episode 9 begins with the Skibbity helicopter attacking the POV operator, but by the score our new friend Agent Drillman was nearby, who destroyed the enemy with a construction pistol that shoots nails and thereby saved the operator. Then they show each other the legendary like, by the way, it's time for you to like this video too, if you haven't done it yet. Then there is a fairly strong earthquake, because the agents are standing on the roof of one of the houses and they are shaking quite badly. Next, a helicopter of Clockman agents arrives for the agents. Inside the helicopter, we can see the alarm clock agent and the driller agent, I assume that he will be revealed to us in the series in the future, because he looks pretty cool. Then the agents climb into the helicopter and fly away. But a chase begins for the helicopter in the form of two skibbity rocket men, 
but they stop chasing because something is moving below the ground and it looks like it is coming right at them. And one of the rocket men tried to eliminate this movement with a rocket, but he had no idea that it was a big or I would even say a huge titan drill man. He destroys the enemy with just one movement and then the toilets use their cunning weapons, which we remember from episode 65 of the original series. This is a kamikaze skibbity, but the titan drill man does not try to escape from it or even defend himself, he only raises his sharp head up and the enemy turns into ashes. Next, the titan's drill man is attacked by large skibbity. We know one of them from 64 episodes. Next, Titan Drill Man shows us one of his abilities, specifically Artificial Earthquake. His two hands become jackhammers and start shaking the ground. From this earthquake, houses themselves fall on opponents and destroy them. Next, Titan is attacked by sound skibbity helicopters and apparently the sound is very disliked by Titan. The opponents begin to gradually increase the sound, but they did not even realize that the Titan has an attractive hook. And by the way, in this frame on the jetpack of the Titan Drill Man, I noticed something interesting. Honestly, it's hard to say what it is, so if you see something there or it's some kind of hint, then write about it in the comments. And we continue. Titan attracts one of the opponents and literally drives him into the ground, other opponents did not want such a massage, so they preferred to fly away. But at that time, an improved Titan Speaker Man arrived and destroyed one of the opponents with his blasters, then he said something to the Titan Drill Man and flew away to accompany the cameraman helicopters and the flying ship of the Speaker Man, and the Titan Drill Man also followed him, but preferred to go underground. Also, when Titan digs a tunnel for himself, we can see again a reference to the already familiar YouTuber Elite Cameraman, only this is his other version, this is Elite Clockman. A good reference, I am also waiting for myself in your series. And this is the end of episode 9. And in episode 10, we will most likely be shown how they will save the speaker woman. Because she is literally in the mechanical hands of the villains. Also in episode 10 we will be shown what happened to the titan clock man. If you suddenly forgot, then in episode 6 he was forced to sacrifice himself for the sake of a good future of agents. And that's where my analysis ends. Let me remind you that the 10th episode will be released today and it will last almost 3 minutes, so we are gaining 7000 likes on this video and I am starting to analyze the 10th episode. See you soon.